Welcome back to the channel guys. So out here in Nebraska, if you saw my Facebook live or my Instagram live video, you will know that I'm in the middle of nowhere because uh, I'm visiting folks in Nebraska. That way over there, there he is. That's my car. And believe it or not, I'm 90% of the way back after my long walk to go record. But uh, <coughs> while we were out looking for a park the other day, we stumbled across this job site. So from the road, it initially kind of looked like it might be the entrance to a new sub going back into the woods. But now that I've walked back in here, uh, this is clearly a highway project. This is gonna be a new stretch of highway that's going in. So the main run of highway is running this direction. And then this is gonna be an offshoot that ties in to the road down there. And so I was gonna give you guys kind of a quick overview for some of those who are totally not familiar with road work, kind of what's going on here. Um, so what you're gonna notice off to the side here, the, the big mounds of dirt over there off to the right, uh, that's topsoil that's been stripped from the job. That's job number one when you get to a new site is you strip topsoil so that you can lay it all back down. Uh, or, you know, in a lot of cases, you actually have excess topsoil at the end of the job so you can maybe screen it, sell it, uh, or guys will just, you you know, a lot of guys don't want to mess with it and they will literally just leave humps of dirt on the side of the road which you will notice driving down the highway if you start looking for them so anyway job number one you come in you strip the topsoil we are on step number two where you start laying the base for the road so um let's see here it's about a mile up that direction uh if you stay posted i will have drone footage of this job but a, a mile up that direction is the cut they've got a couple 349s that are loading those belly dumpers that you see running out here in the middle and uh, those guys are bringing all of the fill material, which is kind of a clay, uh, it looks like, down to the fill area. And so this is just one of the fill areas. They were working here when I got here this morning. They had all the belly dumps coming down here. There were two D6T dozers pushing, which if you don't know what those are, uh, click up above. I will link to a video showing you a couple D6s. Uh, the D6s were pushing the material up towards this, which if you're unfamiliar with road work, that's called a box culvert. Uh, that's essentially, that. that's an indicator of how high this road is gonna be. That road is actually gonna be probably a foot the road surface is a foot over the top of that box culvert. So you can see that they are going to fill this area probably about five or six feet uh, before it's all said and done. So D6T is pushing the material in. We just had an 815F compactor in here uh, with the sheep's foot you know, paddles on it uh, that was compacting this material. He literally just drove away as I was walking up to make this video. Again, if you don't know what an 815 is, click up above, I'll link you to a video of that. Uh, and so the next step was the grader will come in here, smooth this all back down, and they'll start bringing in trucks and get ready to do another lift. Uh, generally, you can only do about eight inch lifts. Uh, it depends on state regulations and what the inspectors will let you get away with, but most of the time, you're lucky to get, get away with like a foot uh, when it comes to doing lifts. It just really depends on what you're, it also depends on what machines you're using for compaction. I know in Europe, they have some, um, I can't remember the name of them, someone help me out in the comments, but they've got some special uh, specialized rollers that will actually let you do like a foot and a half to two feet of, of fill and will still get good compaction all the way through that. As far as I know, they won't let you do that over here in the States yet. So all that to say, they will fill this up and you know, let's call it a nice round even, one foot lifts. Uh, and so they've got five or six more layers to go here before they even get close to the top. Then they will come in, put in all of the infrastructure like edge drain and all of your drains that come out here to the drainage ditch. Then they'll put your stone down and then they'll pave over it or do concrete, whatever they're gonna plan on doing out here. So big freaking site. I have been out here for like two and a half hours and most of that time has just been walking. Uh, and it's not easy either. This is a cornfield. So we are definitely in Nebraska. This is just some farmer's field that probably sold his land to the state and here we go so if you guys have any questions about highway construction don't hesitate to ask below uh, I've been in this industry doing highway projects for about five or six years and so I'm fairly well versed on it um, you know obviously no one's an expert but I'll I try my damnedest so comment below if you got any questions otherwise you guys have a good afternoon and we'll catch you on the next video